Good morning, friends. Welcome back to another vlog. So this vlog is going to be a couple days long, I think. Today is Wednesday, July 14th, and today is our first day of official staff meetings and such. And so today will probably be very, very minimal, but starting tomorrow we'll have a little bit more time in our rooms. So this morning I'm just walking in and greeting Teeny. Peach is somewhere down there. Um, Teeny's giving me all the love. You're giving me all the love, baby. Yes. That's my girl. You coming over? Hmm? I gotta go. So yeah, today you're gonna have to go, baby. Go, go. Move your face. She always gets squished. Excuse me. Thank you, honey. Um, so today begins our day of meetings. We literally have meetings all day long. So I'm just gonna pack up some things that I might need. Um, I need to eat breakfast, so I should probably do that real quick. I've got like 15 minutes. I'm just gonna have some rice cakes with some peanut butter. And I'm out of fruit, so I don't have any fruit today, which is unfortunate. Um, but I had to bring in a couple of coffee mugs, just because I always have coffee mugs here. This one's funny. These are all from like TJ Maxx. This one's from the Disneyland thing, but I just always keep coffee mugs. And then let's see what else did I bring. Plantain chips. I have some salsa in the fridge. I've got some pickle popcorn. And I have my cauliflower thins. Those are for, I think we're getting served lunch today. Yes, lunch is provided in the workrooms. It's usually like sandwich stuff, so because I don't consume flour, I brought my own little bread. And then my mom made me some mashed potatoes to eat at some point, I don't know. And then I've got some other plantain chips and some grainless um, chips in there. So I need to put some stuff in the fridge. And then I'm gonna go downstairs and grab Mandy and then we're gonna head over to our staff meeting. And then I'll just take a spoonful of peanut butter. Where's your sister? Peach! Peachy! All right, well. I'll see you guys when I can. And we're back. <laughs> so it is currently 11.38. We just ate lunch and now we are in our rooms until 2 p.m. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm working on while I'm in here. I brought this bin full of things to laminate back from home. Sorry, I have like the worst hiccups. Okay, so I do have a ring light behind you guys, just so you know, that's why I have this funny little glare, but I'm gonna show you guys what I brought from home to laminate. I found an Amazon gift card, so I'm gonna keep that here in case I need to order stuff. But I printed out some schedule cards yesterday, and these are just by Teach, Create, Motivate. I really love her like theme stuff. It's just like black and white with colors. So I'm gonna be laminating some of these. I think what I'm gonna do is cut them out first and then put them together so I can laminate them all at once. Cause there's quite a few. I got assembly, recess, and then lunch. And we also have block one, block two, block three. Since I teach the same subject all day. And then I'm gonna put on the board what subject we're doing for each day. So like if we're doing social studies one day, um, I'll put social studies up there. And then if we do science a day, I'll do science. And then if we do both, then I'll do both. So I'll probably put science and then I'll put block one, block two, block three underneath it. So that way we can see what we're doing that day. And then I have the title, today's schedule. I have library. I didn't put PE or art, so I think I need to go home and print those, but I have library morning meeting. And then I also printed out some clip art. So I have my little rats. These were actually painted or drawn by hand by my dear, dear friend, Amber. And she is everywhere on social media, Amber Skies, Twitch, Instagram, uh, Patreon. And she does like hand, drawn commissions and paintings and she's just wonderful so she drew those and then I have a couple bitmojis for around the room that need to be put up 
So I'm just gonna be laminating these and then I have a bigger version of the girls. So I'm gonna sit here and laminate these for a minute and then go hang them up and do all of that and then kind of work on any finishing touches for the classroom while I'm in here. And then I think I will be able to start doing some actual planning. So that will be great. Hey you guys, happy Thursday. Today's the 15th of July and we are just trucking along. This morning when I got to school, I had a science PD and it was covering which science standards we are expected to use this school year. So in Arizona, I don't know about the rest of the country, I'm pretty sure the rest of the country is using next gen science standards, but Arizona likes to lead the way in education, if you know what I mean. And they have their own set of science standards that they test our students in or on in fifth grade. Um, however, my principal is very STEM and science driven. She was a science teacher for many, many years, and she prefers her fourth through eighth grade teachers to teach using the next generation science standards. So K through third uses Arizona, four through eight uses next gen. So um, they do kind of align. It's kind of funny, like my fourth grade Arizona standards align with third, fourth, and fifth grade next gen standards. So it's kind of like all over the place, but we're gonna do the best thing we can. My principal says, do cool things. So. That's the mantra I'm gonna just keep saying to myself. Um, so I went to that meeting, and then you guys, some movement has been going on at our school. Many of you who have been with me for a long time know Mandy, Mandy Perry. She is one of my very best friends. We taught together up in Prescott um, when I worked with Jennifer up in Prescott and I taught her son Aiden in fourth grade. You guys have been hearing Mandy's name for quite a few years if you've been with me. If you haven't been with me, that's kind of the background. Mandy and I are very close friends. We both have three-year-olds. They love each other. They're best buddies. Um, and Mandy actually got a job at my last school and was my teammate for third grade, and then we both ended up moving um, separate directions. Well, Mandy decided to move out here, and of course, I was like, well, I'll see if there's any openings at my school and I'll refer you. So I did, there was, and she got hired for first grade. Well, I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. My ELA team teacher, Sheila, is going to become the instructional coach. The instructional coach is going to become a tech coach. Mandy is going to become fourth grade ELA, and then another person is going into Mandy's first grade position. So Patrick, my dear friend Patrick, who taught kindergarten, is moving up to first grade. And so I am just like, like in so much shock and so excited that Mandy is gonna be my teammate again. Like I just know that the Lord wants us to be together. So I have my best best friend back with me and on my team, like life couldn't be any better. So anyway, what I'm doing right now, so I am now taking on the role of fourth grade team lead. So all of the things that I will be responsible for this year are, <laughs> fourth grade team lead, glee club coordinator and coach, and then I'm the science teacher, so I'm in charge of all the STEM and like the projects and all of that stuff. So it's gonna be a busy year, but I'm excited, and Cash will be joining me. He's gonna be going to the preschool here, so he will be joining me, um, and it's just gonna be a wonderful year. I'm very excited. So. Anyway, what I'm doing right now is sitting down and just checking emails, trying to get myself organized. My classroom is done, and so as soon as we get a little bit more information about Mandy, we do have to move her classroom from downstairs to upstairs, so it's gonna be kind of a to-do. Um, luckily, though, my room is completely done, so I can help her, and I have started planning for the first week of school so I can share those things with my teammates, get Mandy up to speed on how we work uh, things out here and get things rolling for Meet the Teacher Night, which is on Monday. So anyway, I'm just sitting here um, going through emails, printing some things, because there are quite a few things that I need to print. And then getting some things scheduled and put into place for the rest of the week. So yeah, um, once I get to do something exciting, 
I'll let you guys know. <laughs> this is Mandy, for those of you who don't know, who are new here. I already gave the background, like the spiel. Okay, good, so I'm now we just smile and I'm out of breath. <laughs> stare at each other. Okay. And look into each other's eyes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> What's your latest? What are you doing? What are you up to? Bringing up fourth grade books to my. Not sure where where my classroom's gonna be, but it's well, here. We don't know yet. There's there's a couple of options. <laughs> <laughs> and no AC. So yeah, and the AC's broken in um, in the first room. So there's that. Yeah. It's gonna be stressful, but it's fine. I feel like you want to know what I'm worried about. Meet the teacher with no AC. Yeah. Well, you know what? We can always do what we like to do: stand outside the door, let them walk through, let and them get their sweat on, reassure them that it will be fixed. Yep. Put your little flags up. Say, go to each flag. Make sure you grab and complete each whatever. Mm -hmm. Have a nosy around. A knees hurt. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just stand up. Um, you'll still be in front. And then, yeah, I think yeah, we'll figure it out. Good. I'm planning on standing outside the door. I've always done it every year. Yeah. My first principal told me, best advice ever, meet the teacher, don't step foot in your classroom, otherwise you'll be sucked in. Yep. Stand nope. outside in the hallway. Because parents think it's conference time. Mm -hmm. And that's not. not what it is. You want to set up a conference, you can schedule a Google Meet. Mm -hmm. I love Google Meet or Zoom or whatever we're going to do this year, I don't know. But you can schedule a conference with us, and well, because that's the thing, it's not just one person. Yep. Like it's all three of us that are involved. So, yep. if you want to set up a conference with us, it'll be, it'll be interesting. Yep. But I'm here. And while you're setting up your room, I will handle all of the paperwork, work, paper flow stuff that needs to go out. Yes. And you can you. just focus on. It. It'll be a early Saturday, since there's no AC. I come early for this. That's what happens. And wear a bathing suit. Yep. <laughs> yep. Pretty much. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye. I love you. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Mm. Hey, you guys. So it is 3:15. I'm sitting down for a snack, and I'm laminating my fourth grade next generation science standard vocabulary words. There's a lot of them. Just spent the afternoon in a few meetings, PLC, and then I helped Mandy move quite a few of her things into her classroom. So, it's been a very productive day. I'm going to sit and check my email real fast and make sure there's nothing pressing. We got our duty schedule and our special schedule. First three days of school, we're supposed to eat lunch with our students. I will be doing bus duty in the mornings on Mondays and Tuesdays, and then bike rack duty on Thursday afternoons. I am also the new team lead, which means I have meetings some Wednesday mornings at 7.20. And then we and then we did decide on our team meetings Wednesdays during special time. So it is now Friday. It is 7:20 in the morning and I just got to school. I'm very cheetah printed out because today is convocation day, which in teacher terms is just a giant get together with all of the teachers from the school district. We all get together, we cheer, we chant, we get in the spirit, and it's a super fun time. Um, so our convocation is going to be at one of our high schools today. I think, let's see, what time is it at? I need to like grab my schedule and see what we're doing today. Okay, so at 9.15, no. At, yeah, at 9.15, I'm going to what's called rewards training, and I believe it's for interventions, and it's for fourth through eighth grade ELA science social studies teachers in the library, and then at 10.35, we start loading the bus for convocation. So it's gonna be kind of a fast morning. Um, our math teachers have trainings this morning, and 
our SPED team has trainings this morning. So, and then after convocation, we just come back here and we can either go home or we can continue working in our rooms. Now, meet the teacher is Monday. So today is pretty much, well, Monday too, but today is pretty much the last work day in your room aside from Monday before meet the teacher. So luckily, my classroom is pretty much done. Um, and all I really have left to do is to organize paperwork and get things prepared for when students walk in the door on Wednesday next week. So what I'm working on this morning is I'm continuing to laminate my science, my next gen science words. This was a complete sign that I needed to leave school yesterday. I started crunching my vocab words. So I'm gonna go in to my computer and reprint earth processes really quickly. I had a terrible morning, you guys, a terrible morning. Those of you who are women and who have a monthly visitor, you may know that those monthly visits in the beginning can sometimes be like World War III, and that's what today was like. Um, it hasn't been like that for me since I was probably a teenager just because of being on um, you know, taking something for that for about 15 years. And then when I turned 30, I stopped taking that. And so I think my body's starting to regulate and it's like, ah! So let's just say that I spent the first morning of my day crawling around on the floor, writhing in pain. Luckily though, the Tylenol did set in and we're okay now. So I'm gonna drink some caffeine continue to monitor my Tylenol, make sure that I take it on time because I don't want to feel like this at work. And luckily I woke up early enough where I had the time to like lay on my floor. So that was fun. Um, not, I did not miss that. So I'm gonna keep these rice cakes in my purse and some water so that if I'm not at school when, <laughs> when it hits, I'm prepared. Okay. Mandy's almost here and she needs some help loading or unloading some things. So when she gets here, I'm gonna run downstairs and just help her out. But for now, I'm gonna reprint that page and hopefully the timing is perfect and I run downstairs when it's Mandy's here. So we'll see. Hello, my friends. So it is now three o'clock and I am getting ready to leave. We just got done with convocation and I am exhausted. Um, my head is starting to pound. I'm sure I didn't eat enough today. I'm sure I didn't drink enough water today and World War III going on, you know, up in here. So I'm gonna go home, take a hot bath, take a nap, and then hang out with the boys. And it is officially the last weekend of summer vacation because next week, meet the teacher is Monday and then the first day of school is Wednesday, so. I'm also going to water these plants really quick, that one specifically. But I wanted to end the vlog here, so thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you're not already. It's apples and tiaras. And of course, subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you guys Monday. I'm going to show you all of the things that I give out on Meet the Teacher Night, how I get prepped for that. And then, yeah. So I'll see you guys there. Bye.